to learn that there was these women, a female army that legit uh, protected their kingdom, um, that legit beat men. Um, it's like, why didn't I know this when I was a little girl? Why didn't I get to grow up knowing about these women? And as you dug deeper, um, I just learned so much about them. The fact that like 24 seven, they trained. That's why they were so good. They just, they outworked everybody, outworked their opponents um, with hand-to-hand -hand combat, with machetes, with spears. And they just, they were more fierce as well. There's just this fallacy that, that women can't be fighters, um, that they can't be warriors. These women were warriors and they were stronger, faster, fiercer, um, fearless. And uh, to be able to put these women up on screen has been everything. The best action is personal, is character driven, it's story driven. And the way to do that is to have your actors doing their own stunts, their own fighting. So to a T, each person I cast in this film, I had the conversation with them that what it takes to embody a character like this, what it takes to do your own fighting and your own stunts. And the thing is everyone, like if you're an actor, you go online and you see these cool videos that are cut together to music of actors training for a role and it just seems cool and fun. And it's not, it is, hard. It is two a days. It is weight training. It is um, running training. It is fight choreography. Naniska is an incredible general. She is um, older than all the other Agoji. She survived. Um, she has a line where she talks about her scars or her pride. They show how she survived. And um, she's, she's the one that's trained all these other incredible warriors under her. She has a unique relationship with this young king because she helped lead the coup against his brother. But she did that because she believed in this young king and believed that he loved his people. Um, she is fierce. She believes that, that warriors have to kill their tears. You cannot have emotion to, you cannot connect to people. You cannot love to be able to be a great warrior yet as she finds um, this young group of young warriors that are under her start to pull at her and she starts to care, um, which affects her behavior going forward. I don't know what this, this film is without Viola Davis. Um, like she is, even in modern day, she is our woman king. She is who we all revere. Um, we all look up to. She lives her life um, within this industry and on screen in such a specific, strong, beautiful, vulnerable way. Um, she is our guiding light, um, our beacon of excellence, and everybody wants to be led by her. Everybody wants to work with her because you know that she is going to force you, push you to be your best. This was a passion project for every single person that came aboard and certainly for the actors. Um, there was something guttural for everyone to be a part of this, to be able to tell the story, to be able to honor our ancestors. That was a big word that, that we used. They wanted to honor them and that is what pushed them to put the work in, to put the bag of chips down, like to, they wanted to get it right. I wanted it to get it right. And it wasn't, it's not even want. We had to get it right. The story has never been told. Um, no one knows about these women. Everyone's going to look at this and learn about them for the first time. And we had to get it right. And so that desire to get it right, to give everything, um, to be great, um, it was all inspired by wanting to honor these women in the right way.